organizers of this event, um, some of whom I know and many of whom are, are therapists and therapists in training like me and who care very deeply about um, the coming together of sexual violence activism and, and the reality of these records being released um, have a lot of part in pulling together this, this rally and knowing that I hold a piece of both of those as a therapist um, and also as a sexual violence activist. So they, I think they hoped I might have something to say. So currently I am a graduate student in the Couples and Family Therapy program. I'm also a graduate teaching fellow doing sexual violence prevention education work in the Office of the Dean of Students. But my history in this work um, is, is fairly extensive. I worked at Sexual Assault Support Services as their advocacy program coordinator for about five years um, and then I also was the sexual violence program coordinator at the statewide Oregon Coalition Against Domestic and Sexual Violence and I've been a trainer for the Oregon Sexual Assault Task Force. You're making a difference on this campus and in our community. <laughs> because what we know about rape culture is it thrives in silence. It thrives when we are told to shut up, go away. It does that for survivors. When we tell survivors to shut up and we don't believe you, it maintains a culture of silence. When we tell workers to shut up and not talk about the stuff that's going on on our campus that's a problem, that contributes to a culture of silence. That is why we live in this great culture that is this campus. Shame. Shame. This campus is working really hard to try to say, ducks do something. It's on us to make a difference. I heard about those two staff people at the UCTC and the way that they spoke up against the, the obvious unethical practices. I thought ducks are doing something! Woo! It's on us to make a change and these are heroes. They were heroes, they are heroes. Yeah. And, then, and then I saw the fallout and I saw the way that they're the way that we're treating heroes. We're telling people to intervene, to be active bystanders, to make change when we see something problematic. And that's what those staff members did. And this is what we see happening to them. We need to be promoting the good behaviors of bystander intervention. That's what we're supposed to be doing on this campus. So I want to call those two staff people heroes. I want to say that they did exactly what we are asking people to do on this campus. This is how we end a culture of silence. This is how we end a rape culture. This is how we intervene in practices that uphold rape culture. So I call them heroes. Thank you. What, what I do know and what I have seen is that um, both of the, of the people in the, in the counseling uh, UCTC that came forward and spoke out have faced retaliation. If not termination, then certainly social, um, social retaliation. Uh, there's a, they took a really big risk in coming forward and saying this is happening and we don't think it's okay and this violates our ethics. There's a lot of risk to speaking out. I also think we have a lot of brave people doing this work. There's a lot of brave people on this campus. There's a lot of brave people in um, that are my colleagues, that I'm, I'm, that are my classmates, um, that are these students right here, that are staff members, faculty members, and I, I believe administrators too.